Hey guys, so tonight I'm at a very special place in Las Vegas. I am at Chubby Kettle. So this place, you've seen me go to the uh, revolving sushi bars. This is a revolving shabu bar. So there's a conveyor belt with a whole bunch of shabu hot pot items and you can pick whatever you want and you can eat it immediately and it's served right there on the spot. You can view the items before grabbing it. So I'm super excited to try this place out. Never had that kind of concept before and I love revolving conveyor belt kind of style. So let's go inside this place and check it out. Right, guys so you're walking in you see the conveyor belt it's so cute they also have a soft bar where you can customize your own sauces i'm going to grab some of that later but yeah that is so awesome and this is very sanitary too it's a lot more sanitary than the uh, uh sushi conveyor belts i think there's an extra layer and then it tells you how much each of these plates cost based on the color looks like we got some crab legs coming by um, so mostly of these are veggies, but so basically how this restaurant works is you have your individual pot and then you choose your soup base. I think today I'm going to go with the tomato oxtail plus broth flavor. That seems like a very popular one. You get to choose the type of meat that you want and then so all these vegetable options, it should be on the conveyor belt. Oh look, there's also some meatballs, there's some tofu, cool. There's some rice cakes, that's fried flour sticks awesome oh there's even some mushrooms actually i'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of that because i love mushrooms oh ooh. all right awesome. all right we definitely cannot miss this this is my favorite i love quail eggs at a hot pot these are so good Ugh, i love them oh. and i love these as well these are the popping fish balls oh there you go i'm gonna add in some corn as well that it's so easy to stack up. What's coming? We got some pumpkin. These are some different kind of mushrooms over here. Actually, I'm gonna grab some of those. Different kind of mushrooms sound good. I love mushrooms in hot pot. Oh, whoa, look at the size of those shrimps. You see this? Oh, I'm definitely grabbing some of that. Whoa, these are actually massive. Look at that. Wow, this butterfly didn't do vain for you. That looks so good. Gotta grab some tofu as well. These are the spongy tofus that I like. Look at that texture. This kind of tofu soaks up the broth flavor really easily. I've got some pork balls. It's good. Some seafood. These are the mussels. That actually looks really fresh. Look at the size of those pieces. Cool. Oh, and some beef balls. More balls. And these are some shrimp balls. Awesome, all the balls. <laughs> all right guys, I'm gonna make my favorite. I love peanut sauce in hot pot. Put in my bowl there, yum. All right guys, so this is my final sauce. I added sugar, sesame oil, chili oil, some pressed peanut powder, garlic and cilantro, and green onions. That looks good. And my soup is here, yay! Tomato oxtail soup, yum yum. All right, let's try out the sauce that I concocted. Mm, yummy, peanut buttery and sweet. Ooh, and look at this, my meats just came out. So we got a beef brisket here. This is the uh, lamb and beef combo. Beef is on top, lamb is on the bottom. That looks divine. Ooh. All right, guys, I am so excited. I'm gonna put my hair up because hot pot tends to get a little bit messy. So you can go. Get started on this. I started by adding all my clay legs because I love this clay legs. Thank you. And then we also got some of these amazing shrimps. Look, they're massive. We're just gonna stack it up on the side here. I'm gonna add some of the breadsticks. These are so good with hot pot. Literally, these breadsticks are so good. So my, so this is like an appetizer. So I'm going to let this cook first. We also got some of their winter melon green tea. Oh man, that is so good. Having sweet tea with hot pot is such a good idea because the soup base gets really salty. So you got salty and then a sweet kind of like palate cleanser. It pairs together really well. And these breadsticks cook really, really fast. 
Now let me try some of the soup broth just to see how the flavor is like. Oh wow. I can definitely taste the oxtail flavor in that broth. Oxtail has a really distinct like fragrance, so I can definitely get a taste it in this. Ooh, that is really good. All right, you see that? You see how like the breadsticks already soaked up? We're gonna fish these out. Look, it's already soggy. Ooh, look at that. It's done so quickly. I'm gonna add in the corn because the corn takes a little bit longer to cook. I don't want to overfill it, so we're going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to add in some of the balls, because the balls don't really take up too much. Okay, there we go. I think that's, that's okay. But yeah, let's try out these breadsticks. Wow.
So all I have to do is just let it cook in there for like maybe 10 seconds and it should be done. Because you don't want the meat to overcook. Oh, there's also some taro pieces. That looks good. Let me try these out. I love taro root. Taro root's really good. Yeah. Their meat cuts are really big too. Alright, you see? Just like that, the brisket is cooked. Let's try this out.
gonna keep going. And now I'm just gonna wait for the items to uh, cook. So they continue eating. Alright guys, so the items are boiled. Let's first try out this mushroom. Mmm. Oh, that has a really good crunchy texture. I like that. Mm. While this was cooking, I was peeling the rest of my shrimps. Seriously, these shrimps are so good. Mmm. Wow. Big butterfly shrimp. Get a nice sauced up version of the shrimpy. Mm. I made some pretty good sauce. Well, that's hot. All these tofu and mushrooms definitely soak up a lot of the flavor. So I believe uh, these balls have stuff inside. So I'm gonna poke a hole in it first. So it'll like clear out some air. So it won't be too hot. It's a big ball. These are filled with a pork and beef filling. Woo. Mm. It's so good, it's just really hot. the balls to put it on the side so it starts to cool down faster. I think 
out of all the balls, the fish balls are my favorite. These are really good too. I think the ones that have filling in them have the most flavor. All my lamb is done. and I just kept adding more. I added a whole bunch of more plates because I added so much more mushrooms in there. Let me show you one thing. I absolutely love these. So these are the fish cakes or tofu fish cakes. I don't know how to describe it, but the layering on this tofu is so good. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Burp. I think I did really well with how much plates there are. We're gonna count them at the end, but I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beef. Grab out the beef brisket pieces. Look at that. Look how juicy and meaty that is. I 
done and impatient for just eating it right out of the pot like that. But that's what the whole experience of hot pot is. This is where all my training of doing all the ramen and pho challenges come in. It's because I eat stuff like this right off the boiling water. So because that's just like, I love hot pot like that. Mmm. This is a beef ball. Good. I added in more quail eggs as well. I need to take out some of these. Some of this is just way too hot. I'm actually very impressed with the beef balls. Usually I am like so picky with the beef balls. And these are some of their taro roots that I was talking about. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm so impressed with all the protein, the seafood especially. This is so good. Alright guys, I think we did really good. Got all of, out of all the stuff in the pot. Let's count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Just about twenty-five, twenty-four. Ooh, that's a lot of food. Um, but yeah, not including the uh, beef plates that I got. And the yellow plates are around four dollars. Twenty-four times four. Six. Yeah, it's almost a hundred. Actually, it's gonna be like about a hundred dollars worth of food here spent at Chubby Kettle because like the two beef plates, right? They're like twenty dollars each, almost. But yeah, woo! That was so good though. Definitely worth it, man. Seriously, the seafood is definitely worth the money. I've, I've never seen a place with like better seafood than this. So yeah, come check this place out. Let me know how many plates you'll be able to eat. The table of five over there um, that ate that much, and in comparison to me. That's how much I ate. I really just kind of went crazy because I love hot pot so much. I was just like, oh my god, give me more, give me more. All these vegetables, all these mushrooms, all these balls. Ooh, it's so good. <laughs> Alright geez, I was definitely in there for quite a bit. It's all dark now, but that was super good. If you guys are in Vegas, definitely check out Chubby Kettle. Ooh, that was delicious. Um, then it also is really hot. Jesus Christ, it's already uh, already almost 8 p.m. and then it's still steaming hot in Vegas. Wow, oh, I love the desert. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.